it's necessary for us to begin to look at the future and know that it's possible that we can have our dream. Yes, it is. Other people have done it, then we can do it. We fail a lot of times. Well, a lot of other folks fail, and eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want. And we know that we want to get it. It's necessary that we align ourselves with people that think like we do. It's necessary we get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary we never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up. We know that it's you, it's me. Was there ever a time, maybe you weren't hurt, but it's late in the season maybe, your team is out of the pennant race, it's a day game after a night game on the road, for whatever reason you didn't sleep the night before, aches and pains, you come to the ballpark tired and you say, you know what, I just don't feel like playing baseball today. That you were doing something wrong, and then you push it a little bit further and uh, say, let's see what happens. And normally when you say, let's see what happens, let's go out, something good would happen. And that's what I associated when you felt the worst, I always associated that good things were on the horizon. Mm -hmm. And by and large, they happened that way. So uh, I, th I thought it was a good indication that the worst I felt that I was going to have a good game. And, and a lot of times I did. That's the beautiful thing about this sport. You got to grind. This ain't football, baby. Football, you get Sunday, I'll see you next Sunday. This is every single day. And sometimes they ask you to do two. Right? This is a whole nother level. Can you train yourself to believe something, yes or no? Absolutely. You find out life's as game of inches. The margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible and we did those things that were necessary to bring it into reality. We took the responsibility to make it happen. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked, you were criticized. People were opposing you, but you kept on doing it. It was hard, it was rough, it was difficult, but to you, it was worth it. And eventually you got to a level you know Stop me not. I'm on the move. I'm on the move. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you've got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that.